Most people swear it's 64 until they see the real math behind it. All right, look at this one carefully. 1 minus 9 times 1 minus 9. And don't lie, your brain already went easy. You saw two copies of 1 minus 9, turned them both into negative 8, multiplied negative 8 by negative 8, and proudly landed on 64. Case closed. Victory music playing. Yeah, no, that solution is confident, fast, and completely disrespectful to math rules. Let's walk through the wrong logic first, because this is exactly how most people get trapped. You look at the left side, do 1 minus 9, get negative 8. Then you look inside the parentheses, do 1 minus 9 again, also negative 8. Then your brain goes, oh nice, negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64. Feels clean, feels powerful, feels illegal. And before we fix this, quick reminder, if these problems keep humbling you in public comment sections, hit like and subscribe. Consider it emotional support for your math confidence. Now, here's the issue. You cannot just break the expression wherever you feel like it. Math isn't IKEA furniture. There's an order to this, and it's called PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. So yes, parentheses first. Inside the parentheses, 1 minus 9 equals negative 8. So now the expression becomes 1 minus 9 times negative 8. And this is where people slip. Multiplication comes before subtraction, every time, no exceptions, no vibes. So we handle the multiplication next. 9 times negative 8 is negative 72. Now rewrite the expression honestly. 1 minus negative 72. And subtraction of a negative means addition. So this becomes 1 plus 72, which gives us 73. Not 64. Not even close. 64 was just math wishful thinking. So the correct answer is 73, not 64. And yeah, I know, it hurts a little, but that's how these problems get you. They rely on confidence, not correctness. If your answer's different, let's compare. Write it in the comments.